Hey folks, a happy new year to all of you. I hope you all had a great Christmas and holiday season that you're all set to go to take on the new year, 2023. As you know, I'm hosting a webinar on January the 16th where I'm going to be walking you through the London Closed Trade Strategy, which I have revised and updated all to make the strategy more objective than ever before and also to show you how the strategy can be applied at times outside of the London Close. So it's perfect for those who aren't able to be around at the London close time window. And I have many, many videos of trades that will be included with the course and those will also be uh, posted in our short-term trading service for our members. Today, uh, which is January 3rd, 2023, I recorded an LCT trade live before I was filled showing where the fill was and, and you'll see me getting filled and where the stop was and the trade management and all that kind of thing. This trade made a two to one reward risk in about 40 minutes, which just illustrates the power of these trades. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the like button. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, very easy to do. And uh, be sure to register for the webinar. There's a link in the text below the video or in the email that you received. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, here is the trade as I called it out in real time. Hey folks, uh, I'm going to show you hopefully a live trade on the US Canadian dollar pair. I have an order in to sell it at 136.71. This is a London close trade. <clears throat> and we are now into that time window of the day where we want to be looking at selling uh, the or, or even making a trade, a London close trade. And uh, in this particular case, because of the, the setup that this is, um, we, we have a stretched range. Like if you look at the hourly chart here, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do the four hour chart. It's more clear. Um, the, the trade is price dropped here and it made this huge, huge move up here right into this level of resistance, which is very, very important. We have to have that or there's going to be no trading opportunity. Uh, that's one of the um, one of the criteria for taking a valid London close trade. So we've hit that resistance. We've got a stretched range. It's the London close time window. And I now have an order in to sell. Uh, at this um, <clears throat> at our entry time frame our five minute chart to sell it up here at 136.71 it's only going to need a 10 pip stop let's see what happens okay folks we just got filled 136.71 it's all trade management time now we have our stop in place we have a 10 pip risk is all uh, so we have to manage this trade now get the risk out of it uh, as soon as we can and uh, let's stand by see what happens Okay, folks, uh, so the fill was up here at uh, 136.71, and this trade is now made, and we had a 10 pip risk, right? This trade is now made uh, over 10 pips. So we have, you can either, you know, now it's trade management. I mean, you can take a profit for 10 pips at, on half your position or part of your position, move your stop to break even so you can't lose any money on this trade, etc. There's all sorts of ways to do it. And now you're in that luxurious position of having a free look at further downside. Um, so um, I'll keep the recording going for a little bit longer. I have things I have to do, but I just wanted to get the idea of the simplicity of this strategy. I mean, this was um, a very easy setup and, um, you know, everything was objectively ready to go with it. And uh, there was actually a trade even earlier today on this same pair based on the um based on being able to trade this pair at other times other th not this pair but this setup at other times during uh during the day for those that can't be here um i've actually recorded that other that other trade it's in it's going to form part of the course but in any event uh, this is a london close trade uh, this blue vertical line here is when the london close when i would start looking for a london close trade and it got filled right up in here uh, pretty nice, you know, pretty good um, uh, and, and very, very low risk. I mean, 10 pips on this trade was, you know, it's pretty nice. So you have the potential to make quite high reward risk trades uh, if the thing keeps going for you. And again, I'll pause this a little bit, see if we can get more out of this thing and I'll, I'll uh, be back. We'll look for levels on the way down, you know, where you can expect there to be some resistance and support levels. You can go to your higher time frames to find these um and um and so on so anyway just pause it i'll be back in uh, shortly Alrighty, folks i'm going to cap this off we just hit a two to one reward risk trade uh th this is the the beauty of these things like this was filled uh where the heck was it filled it was filled right here so it's a, a one two three four five six seven eight 40 minutes five minute chart 40 minutes uh it's a two to one reward risk trade 
by the way, I, I'll just give you, a, you know, when you're when price is coming down like this, you're looking for a place to get out. It's it's getting kind of later in the day. We're well past the London close. Um, what you can do uh, is just look at levels on the way down. Um, like I say, you can use these uh, these these levels like these ones here, which have not been reached yet. Or you can simply look at Fibonacci retracement levels, like from the low up to the high. You notice how we hit 30, 30, uh, 38 percent, like perfectly, and it's bouncing up. Those are great levels to use. I mean, and just there's all sorts of ways to to take profit. <clears throat> the thing is that the reward risk should make sense, and they should be logical levels. Okay, and it, cause just be patient with them. You know, leave your stops alone. Don't fidget with everything and this is short-term trading, uh, what you might want to call micro scalping. But on the other hand, that doesn't mean we uh, sit there and jam the stop too tight and just make a few pips on a trade. Uh, that's not a good idea. You want to be getting good reward risks on these kind of trades and they generally work out really well. Um, I've got a whole bunch of them recorded uh, for, the, for the upcoming relaunch of our London Close Trade course. So I just wanted to record that one live and just kind of show you, you know, how, how they work when they set up. All right. I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Thanks. So there you go. Um, and just so you know, I actually recorded three other great setups today using the LCT strategy, but on trades that were outside of the LCT time window. So for those who are unable to be around at the London close time, those videos will be uh, good illustrations of how to take on trades that happen before the London close. So thanks again, and be sure to register for the webinar, even if you can't be there, and then we'll send you the recording. But you must register in order to get the recording because it's sent out automatically by GoToWebinar following the webinar. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care.